Marcelo Chick out to our biography, age, wife, net worth, awards, albums, and songs. Cello Chicoutoala Biography Cello Chicoutoala was born on 1st January 1963 in Soweto, South Africa. He is a South African musician and producer. Twala was born in Soweto, Johannesburg. He attended the Pasnachla High School. His first triple platinum release was in 1987, and was a record with We Miss You Manello, which was a reference to Nelson Mandela, who was still a prisoner on Robben Island at this time. Education, background, and career. He attended the Pasanatlo High School. He released his first triple platinum in 1987, which included the song We Miss You Manello, a reference to Nelson Mandela, who was still a prisoner on Robben Island at the time. The song Too Late for Mama, produced by Twala and sung by Brenda Fassi, also achieved platinum status. In 1992 he released his soul ballad piece song just before the nation's first democratic election. Cello Chikau Twala Age. He was born on 1st January 1963. He is 55 years old, as of 2018. Cello Chikau Twala Wife. The Sunday World reports that musician and business tycoon Chikau Twala is accusing his ex-wife Thambi of cheating on him, while they were married. He says he saw his wife enter a house with two white men, and leave much later, in a skimpy miniskirt. Chico was so embarrassed, that he chose not to include this juicy bit of info in his divorce decree. One day, he says, he arrived home in the wee hours of the morning from a business meeting, and found that Thambi was not in the house. He soon received confirmation of her cheating ways when he followed her, and the two white men to a private residence in Hyde Park. She finally emerged four hours later, looking ruffled and unkempt. Chico says he jumped out of the car, and started punching on one of the men. Thambi denies being unfaithful, and says Chico is only trying to destroy her. Cello Chico Twala net worth. He has an estimated net worth of $1.2 million. Cello Chico Twala albums. We Don't Need War 2015. Jim Armad Jai 2007. Yamagya Bain 2015. Papa Stop the War 2015. Mama Tilda 2015. Majaji 2015. Best of Limited Edition 2006. The Best of 2007. Cello Chikau Twala Awards. He has been awarded the Lifetime Achievement South African Music Award and a Metro FM Music Award. Cello Chikau Twala News. Chikau Twala to Prasa. Pay up RR 12.4 million. Now. Musician and business person Salo Chikau Twala and his business partner Soli Segalo are demanding R12. 4 million from the passenger rail agency of SA Prasa, comma, saying it defaulted on 11 months of payments to their communications agency Blue Flame. In 2013 Blue Flame scored a sizable contract to render marketing and communication services to Prasa. It is sad that they are treating us like criminals. We have pitched like any other company and we got the contract, a frustrated Twala told City Press. I blame the new board for sabotaging us, I've put my other business interests on hold, to work on this project. Little did we know we would encounter financial challenges. Dot, but Prosser's group, chief executive, Sigur Siso Sid Hull, said Twala and Segalo's claims had been investigated and found to be unsubstantiated. We've written to Twala and Segalo informing them, that they have no legitimate claim against Prosser. This has been confirmed by an independent legal opinion, that we sought, and both parties are free to take civil action against us. On Thursday Sid Hull admitted the organization, which has been in the headlines for allegations of corruption and state capture, is struggling to survive, and is in a broken state. He blamed poor governance, corruption and leadership instability. But Twala's having none of it. They should have told us from the beginning they were bleeding instead of trying to get away with not paying us, quote, he said. Four months ago attorneys Ahmad and Van Shawk served a letter of demand to Prasser on behalf of Blue Flame. Segalo said Prasser ignored it. The veteran music producer claimed that in May this year Prasser's corporate secretary, Linda Kajiazid, agreed to pay the money, but Sid Hole allegedly made an unreasonable request via an email from an assistant that Blue Flame give Prasser R1. 
8 million discount on the R12.4 million. City Press has seen the emails between Blue Flame and Prasa. Prasa did not respond to queries about the emails. Both Twala and Segalo said they rejected the offer because they felt bullied by the state-owned enterprise. In the past 11 months we've been sent from pillar to posting a pattern that has resembled what could be deemed as bullying and sabotage. Our payment has still not been processed for reasons that have nothing to do with us, Segalo said. Months ago they requested intervention from Transport Minister Bladen Zimmond and he allegedly assigned his special advisor Nkabika Yun Candela to intervene. Twala and Segalo said they met Nkandela and he told them he was promised by Zaid that they would be paid on or before May 15. But that did not happen. City Press has seen messages from Nkandela stating that he had cleared with Zaid that Blue Flame would be paid in May. On Friday Nkandela admitted to City Press that because of his access to the minister this matter was escalated to him. In this case the matter was sent to Prasa, reviewed and feedback was given directly to the people concerned, and as far as I know the matter is closed, quote Candelo said. How can the matter be closed, when we have not been paid? Said Alo asked. They kept saying they would pay, the excuses went on and on. Blue Flame's debt began to spiral out of control, and our very strong relationships with suppliers suffered immensely as the agency was left to bleed, he said. Our staff members have also not been paid because of a depleted cash flow. Blue Flame may be forced to close its doors and let the staff go. It's a decision we're not taking lightly, but one that has seen us fall from grace because of one big invoice that has not been paid to us by Prasa, said an emotional Segalo. Twala said the government always preached that it was helping small businesses to grow. But the same government has killed so many black businesses by not paying them on time pay. They don't practice what they preach. Equals.